Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. So in today's lipstick swatch video, I will be swatching the Essence This Is Nude Lipstick Collection. So I don't know if I can pick all of them up. There are actually eight shades and I have six in my hands, but yeah, there are eight of them and they are eight nude shades that are supposed to fit most skin tones. Um, yeah, and they come in this cute white packaging here with, that's exactly why I can't hold all of them. <laughs> By the way, I got these at Ulta. They are $3.99 not bad like that's why i love the essence products because they are so affordable so it is the essence this is nude lipstick is a rich formula with high payoff in a semi matte finish eight flattering nude shades perfect for all skin tones there's no animal testing it's vegan and it's also paraben free so that is awesome and without any further ado, I'll just jump right into the swatches because we have eight lipsticks to go through. So I don't want to make this video any more longer than I need to. So we're going to start off with shade number one. And this is called Freaky. Okay, so this is shade number one, Freaky. Okay, this swatch, it feels literally so creamy so this is the true test these actually smell really good it might be a little bit too scented it's coming off a little bit too strong But it's a good smell, so it's a pleasant smell. But it almost smells a little bit perfumey. Hmm. I don't know if I'm feeling this color. It's looking a bit more peachy than pinky to me. It's the first one, so, you know, we'll take it easy. But for now, I'm going to pass on this. So let's jump into shade number two. <laughs> Next up on the list is shade number two, which is Happy. I actually like that. Uh, that's not a bad color. These are a little bit perfumey though, and I'm not so sure how I feel about that. I like this one. Compared to the first one, I think this one does look a lot better on me. I would say this one has a little bit more rosy tone. The first one had a lot more, I would say, peachy tone to it, while this one, I can see some of the rosiness in there and that's why I think it complements me a lot better than the first one. So yeah, I would give this one a thumbs up because I, I do like it. If you do, go ahead and give me a thumbs up as well. Moving on to shade number three. This one is called Bold. And this is looking a lot, um, huh, it's looking a bit more true nude. Yeah, it's not like a matte, matte formula. It's definitely a kind of creamy matte, semi-matte like it described. So 
it definitely gets points for that. Now this is swatching a little bit lighter. Huh. It doesn't look that light in the tube. But now it's almost looking like it has that same uh, peachy undertone. So. I think on my viewfinder it looks a little bit okay. In front of me though it looks a lot lighter. And I think I'm getting the same vibe with this lipstick as I did with the first one, Freaky. I think they are very similar. I'm going to swatch Freaky and see. Yeah, so they're definitely a little bit similar. So this one is Freaky and this one is Bold. And I think they are a little bit similar in some way. I'm not sure how I feel about this color. It's not bad, but it's not like the best. I've definitely swatched better nude lipsticks. Um, I guess this one is like a maybe. I don't wanna pass on it because I know I can somehow make it work. So I'm gonna put this one as a maybe because yeah, I think it could still work, I guess. It's, it's not terrible. So I'll leave this one as a maybe. Shade number four is called Crazy. Okay, so I think we are moving into like the berry tones. This definitely has a little bit of berry undertones, which I do like. I will not complain about that. I love a good berry undertone. And there you have it. I'm excited to swatch this one, to be honest. So let's see. Oh. I like how the application is so easy because the formula is really creamy. It applies creamy, but then it starts to, I guess, somehow mattify slightly. But initially when you're applying the lipstick, it does feel really creamy and easy to apply. Okay, so what shade is this again? Crazy. I definitely like this color, obviously. It just, it complements my skin tone really nicely. So this is a nude that I would definitely wear. I don't know if it's like a nude nude though. It's, it's safe to say it definitely falls under the berry tones, but of course there's a wide range of lipstick colors that you can call nudes. But this is not like, um, I think it's too berry to be called a nude, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, um, but I like it. Um, I'm not complaining about it. I definitely like a good berry tone lipstick. And this one definitely goes well with my skin tone and I like it a lot. So this one gets a thumbs up from me. So we're halfway through the collection and we've got four more to go. Shade number five is called Legendary. I'm not sure how to describe this color. It's um, It almost looks beige before I even swatch it, to be honest. But the color on the sticker doesn't look like the color in the tube. So that's a little bit off. All right, so this is legendary. I think I can safely say that this one just kind of 
blends into my skin tone. It's so weird. Um, I kind of like it, oddly enough. I don't know if it's a good thing that it just makes me look like one. I don't know if that's a good thing. I might want to give it some type of dimension. I might need to separate my nose from my mouth and my eyes. I need some sort of separation to go on here. So yeah, it just kind of blends everything into one. Um, I think it's nice that it matches me, but do I want to look one dimensional? It could work. I don't hate this one. I don't hate it at all. I can, yeah, I can work with this. I like it. Let's just leave it at that. Moving on to shade number six. This is called Real. This is another berry tone. Oh. This almost has like, I would say, it's almost like a brick nude, like a brick brown. Oh, I like that. I like this one. Mm -hmm. I do like it. It does have some red hues in there, like a brick, red brick, brown type of hue that I absolutely love. What can I say? I have nothing to say about this color. I just, I love it. Okay, we are at shade number seven. Number seven is called Enough. Now this one looks like a chocolatey red. Look how beautiful, it's such a rich color. Wow, this is super rich and beautiful. Like I said, this will definitely complement all the girls out there with a deeper skin tone. I would wear this out too, but if you're looking for like a true nude lipstick for your deep skin tone, something of this shade would work. That's why it's important to have a range of nude lipsticks because What's nude for me is definitely not nude for the next person. So someone of a lighter skin tone, this obviously will not be a nude for you. Um, and even if you're like a mid-tone, this is not your nude. This nude is for someone on the deeper end of the spectrum. So you have to understand that that's how that works. This is not my nude, and I know that, but does that mean that I'm not gonna wear it? Of course not, it's a gorgeous color. It's a deep, rich, berry brown lipstick that is just beautiful. We all have a different shade of nude. What's nude for me is not gonna be nude for you, but at least we know that this lipstick will cater to those of, you know, of richer, deeper skin tones, so I, I love this color and I would still rock it even if it's not a true nude for me. I'm still gonna be rocking this lipstick. What do you guys think? Lastly, but not leastly, we've got shade number eight and this is called Strong. This one is almost the color of my sweater. It's like an eggplant color. I knew it. Wow. Hmm. I 
Well, if you love eggplants, you will love this lipstick. <laughs> Guys, look how pretty this is. <laughs> look how beautiful this color is. I wouldn't consider it a nude though. Like, I think it's because of the berry tone in there. It's I don't know if you can, you know, technically pull this off as a nude lipstick. For someone who's like really like a dark, dark skin tone, I don't think this will even show off, show as a nude. It would still look like a berry lipstick on someone of a darker skin tone. So yeah, um, I don't know if I would consider this one a nude. As well as this other berry tone, this was shade number four. This was just a straight up berry tone. And I think it doesn't matter what complexion you are, it will still show up as a berry tone, just like this one. So I wouldn't consider these ones nude lipsticks. I mean, all the other colors, you could see that they could potentially look nude on people with lighter skin tones and darker skin tones. But whether you're light or you're medium or you're on the darker spectrum of things, a berry tone will still look like a berry tone. You know what I mean? But I still like this eggplant one. It's a great fall winter shade. It still compliments me, but I just wouldn't consider it a nude lipstick. But I like it and I would give it a thumbs up. I'm keeping this one. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the Essence This Is Nude lipstick? Okay, so pros for this set is that they're super affordable. $3.99 for one on Ulta. I think I got mine when they were buy to get one free. So I saved a lot more money that way and they are already affordable. So they do have that drugstore price. They're still a little bit less than some drugstore lipsticks, which I absolutely love. Uh, the formula is creamy. It's described as a semi-matte formula, with, which I think it truly is. When applying the lipstick, it's very creamy and very easy to maneuver around your lips, the contours of your lips. It's super easy. You will not have any issues applying this lipstick. When it does dry for a little bit, it doesn't dry completely matte. As a matter of fact, it will transfer. Let's test this one out. Yeah, so you can see it will transfer because it's not a full matte, it's a creamy matte. So you have to expect some sort of transfer as you eat and drink throughout the day. One of the cons I would say with this lipstick is that it's it's scented. It's almost kind of overbearing. It has like a perfumey scent to it. And for some people that might be a complete turn off um, when it comes to this lipstick because it's it's not a bad smell, but it's just that it's, it's a perfumey smell. I noticed that right away as I was applying the lipstick that it had this perfumey scent that I didn't even have to try hard to smell. It was just boom, right there. And that might be a turn off for some people. So if you get headaches pretty easily, you will want to stay away from this lipstick. And even for me, it was a little bit too overbearing. Like I couldn't, like after some time, it does start to get to you and that's what it felt like to me. So you may wanna avoid this lipstick if you really can't handle scents. Like if you feel like you're gonna faint because of the lipstick, you feel like it's gonna knock you out because of the scent then you might want to stay away from them because they are a little bit perfumey. More perfumey than normal. Some people like it, some people don't. I just I just didn't really care for too much of the scent in there this time around. So that's just how I feel about them. But overall, I think these are great lipsticks. Another con is that some of the colors did not match up quite evenly as what was showed on the packaging. Some of the colors were just a tidbit off and you know that might be a problem for some people but you know it's not really a big deal for me i always try to find a way to make a lipstick work if it doesn't work right off the bat but like i said i think it's a great lipstick to try it's super comfortable it will transfer that can be a pro and a con the pro is that it'll keep your lips nice and moisturized 
the con is that it's gonna transfer as you eat and drink throughout your day so so at the end of the day you just gotta weigh which which one you want to deal with you want to deal with comfort or you want to deal with long lasting sometimes majority of the times we can't have both of them so that's my review of the essence this is nude lipstick collection if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because I have no other way of letting you know when I post a video you're just gonna have to miss out that's that's just how it works those are not my rules those are YouTube's rules so I am just kind of relaying the message here but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video bye now if you love eggplants you will love this lipstick